Link and Zelda's relationship is quite complicated and even blurry. From her screaming at him, sneaking off without him, and getting herself in danger. Today, I overanalyzed all of the cutscenes so that you don't have to. Seeing as Link doesn't have dialogue, we have to get all of our clues from Zelda, and there's many. And I want to add that even in Zelda's diary, the moment he saved her from the Yiga was the moment she realized how she had been acting towards him. Let's look at the memory premonition so that we could actually have a clear picture of where Link and Zelda stand together. Not too bad, actually. You're fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. Zelda is seen here running her fingers through his hair. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. Not to mention, if Link was just doing his job, he wouldn't have acted recklessly. Our emotions can cause us to act the most reckless. And he's even staring into her eyes as she was stroking his hair. Let's be realistic too. When people tell Link to protect Zelda with his life, they don't actually mean for him to give up his life. He needs to stay alive in order to protect her. And remember, all of these memories are Link's perspective. If he was just doing his job, wouldn't he remember all of the fights more than the crawling around on the ground and hanging out with Zelda, looking at her? It was the only thing you were ever told. I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? To me, Zelda is asking, if you chose a different path, would we be here right now together? And Link immediately turns around to comfort her. In fact, he comforts her a lot. Be sure to take the time to soothe your mind. That's the only way it will know how you truly feel. Your advice was quite Link helpful. chose affection by being there for people. <laughs> Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? Another person who gives a lot of insight into this is Mifa. As we all know, she was deeply in love with him. So why, out of all four champions, is she the only one to keep such a distance from him? In her own journal, she says he looks past her and kind of looks more at Zelda. To words, I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm feeling. You know, what usually goes through my mind. I mean, I, I would be embarrassed too to tell another woman that my feelings for her boyfriend helped my magic powers. Mifa accepted the fact that Link's eyes were set on Zelda as well as Zelda's on Link. At this point, Link was... Hyrule's only hope. Zelda hadn't awoken her power yet, and Link was the only one who could save Hyrule. And yet he sacrificed himself to save one girl instead of an entire kingdom. And I don't want to hear, oh, well, he could barely run. Because he could have. He could have left her and gone and healed up somewhere. As we know, he could have literally just walked a few feet, picked up an apple, and healed. This question was probably a bigger clue than you thought. May I ask? Do you really remember me? Now, if you ask me, that's the face of a girl who's been waiting for her boyfriend to come back. And these flower petals mean exactly that. That they're in love. Link and Zelda actually never cared about saving Hyrule. They cared about saving each other. 